Let's take a look how you make information into a chart. First, I just want to show you, I copied and pasted some data, and it didn't go where I wanted to. And you can even move one cell if you click on it, and find the hand, and then just drag it. It's a lot easier than copying, cutting, and pasting. Just find the hand, which sometimes can be tricky, and then you just drag the information where you want it to be. Also, I want to make these population, if I want to look at different formats, rounded, it'll put the commas in for me as well. So don't forget these formatting as currency, as percentage, and different format forms for numbers. Okay, one more piece of data I have to move. Watch the moving again, hand, move. Get to the hand which can be a little tricky on one, and then move. Okay, now let's look at making a chart. You have to tell the computer what data you want to select. So you find all this information, highlight all the information, and go up to insert, chart. You have a lot of different choices. It shows me what sheet, shows me the range. So here's the recommended charts, and this is what it would look like. Now, obviously, I, there's some error here. I've got world, and world is a total population. So I need to go back, and I don't want that world to be as part of it, because that skews the data. So make sure you only select the cells that you want to include. We can put this somewhere else after. Insert chart. Now, that looks better, doesn't it? You have all the countries and what the percentage is. Okay. You can also look at it as a bar chart, or a horizontal bar chart, or an area chart. There's also under charts, all the different kinds of charts, so it depends on the data. Okay, It's even showing, look, this is the population. Okay, Pie, trend, so you can see different, all those different kinds, more. You kind of have to take a look. So there's the stats. I'm going to keep with the pie. If you go to customize, then you can pick the title of the chart. So I'm going to title it World Population. And that's under customize. So when you're looking at it, start, start. You can look at the different charts. And you can look at customize. You can change the size of the font of the title. You can change the size of the color of the title and over here it's giving you the preview. The legend which is this, it's on the right. I could put it on the top. I could put it on the bottom. I could put it on the left. Oops. Left. Or I could have no. I don't know why you wouldn't have no but maybe you don't want it. And you can change colors of the names of the countries. You can change the font. If you don't like the font, I'm a Comic Sans, change the font. You can change the background color of the whole. So all these different features you can do. Slice, you could show them as values. So obviously the numbers are too big for some. You could show them as percentages. You can show them as labels, which is the names of the countries. I'm going to change that background color. It's not looking so hot. Okay, you can change the border. And that's the border of the chart. So you have all those different features under Customize. I and mean, when you got it how you like, you can click Insert. And notice it puts it on top of your data. You can click it, the chart, and drag the chart. So, so if you're a teacher who's been looking for software to create charts or graphs, and you don't have a program or you haven't been happy with, like, create a graph on the web, you now have Google Spreadsheets. And it's completely free. Once you have your chart in, there's some things you can do with it. By clicking on the chart drop down menu, you can edit the chart, which means it'll take you back to the chart editor where you can rename the, pick the different type of chart, change your customization again. You also can delete the chart. You can save it as a separate image, so you can put it somewhere else. It'll save it as chart PMG. And it'll download it somewhere. So if I view my downloads, here it is, chart PNG. 
You could also publish the chart. And this is the embedded code, so if you know what you're doing and you have a website where you can embed code into it, here's the code. You can also copy the chart, so if you want to put it into another document, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Hmm. Don't know why it's doing that. You should be able to paste it into another document when you pick copy chart and move it to its own sheet. We'll put it on its own separate sheet. See down here, sheet one. Now you have chart one. So if you just want to put it on its own sheet, you can put it there as well. So there's some different things you can do with your chart. If you're not that familiar with spreadsheets or what you could do with them or you're not that great at them or you want to not reinvent the wheel, make sure you check out under the create menu from template the spreadsheet templates that are out there. If you click on the spreadsheet column, there's a lot of different ones. Personal monthly budget, project manager schedule, service invoice, monthly calendar, to-do list, household budgets. So you might find something that's actually really worthwhile for you to use or to use uh, with your students as well. So just a suggestion. So like personal monthly budget planner, you can click on preview to check it out. And everything's already done for you. So uh, if you want to use it, you could click use this template. And it all comes up and copy of personal monthly budget. Just like I said, when you use a template, it comes up with the word copy in front of it. I could click on this and get rid of the copy of if I wanted to. And click OK. And then in the different cells, you can put the different bits of information. Okay, so you don't have to make this for yourself. You can delete things if you don't want them, add things. Uh, so it's a nice thing that's already built for you. So don't forget about the templates.